Hey everybody, I know what you're thinking. Does he come to work every day wearing a Chess.com shirt? First of all, yes. One, because I'm a true professional. Two, eat your heart out, John and Deep Green. This video is dedicated to you. You can follow both those gentlemen on Twitter. All right, let's do this. If you haven't clicked the annotation to go solve the daily puzzle, it is now on you officially. Here we go. Um, okay. Rook takes g8, doesn't work, g7's guarded, queen takes f6, looks to be the obvious option. If he takes it, we have, okay, it's, he's not going to take it, that's mate. Queen takes d8, looks like the obvious move, which should be completely winning. And why am I feeling like I'm about to be tricked? Why would the problem even still be going with queen takes d8? That suggests some tomfoolery, yeah? It's like something suspicious is going on here. I'm going to take my time and think about it, yeah? Right. Queen takes f7. Oh, I see it, right. It's not that this isn't a good one. It's just that rook takes g7 is a faster mate. Takes on... What is going on here? The position should be over like two turns ago. Nice. Yeah, yeah, right. Rook takes g8 is going to be mate, but... Okay, queen takes f7 is mate. Whoa, that was a shenaniganizer. It's like as if they were trying to, like, you know, rip our heart out and then stomp on it. That's what Chess.com was trying to do then. Shame on you. Wag of the finger. Tip of the hat at the same time. Hashtag Stephen Colbert. Uh, okay, Queen takes F6 was really the most critical moment of this combination. And the recognition that, uh, one, G7 is protected, so it doesn't work. And two, that Rook takes G8 doesn't work. So following my line of critical thinking, checks and captures and... Tempo moves. Queen takes f6 naturally came in my head, and I immediately saw that if, if uh, queen takes f6, g takes f6, rook 8 takes g8 as the key. And when the king comes to the 7th rank, rook 1 to the 7th uh, to the seventh rank is checkmate. So that's why I play queen takes f6, and honestly, I thought the position was basically over. And I don't really like this type of daily puzzle where, I mean, queen takes d8, queen to e8, rook takes g8, king takes, takes the queen. You're just completely winning. I mean, I'm up a queen and two bishops there and probably mating him in less than five moves by force. So it's really not an ideal daily puzzle when you have so many multiple solutions. But in this case, maybe because I got yesterday's puzzle wrong, I was a little bit nervous, right? Just slightly on the edge of my seat, love. And I, because of that little nerves, I, I kept looking and then I saw that rook takes g7 is actually a faster mate. So I'm curious if this game, Sophia Polgar versus... Gocheva, Novi Sad, 1990. I'm curious if that's actually how it finished. I have this feeling that, okay, maybe, maybe Rook takes G7 would have played, but in a real game, if someone played Rook F7, like, I would just take D8. So maybe I'm just old school, you know. But, you know, certainly a nice finish. Rook takes G7. There's a lot of pins going on here. And again, Rook can't take F6 because of Rook 8 takes G8, which would be a similar mate to what we saw before. Um, and so after king to e8, we had checkmate because the bishop was pinned. So not the, I'll, I'll play it back, instant replay style, ESPN style, right? Don't you love that? When we just have that play button, let's do it again, right? Sports center, whoa, top 10, goes in for the dunk, right? Don't you love that replay? Any hooters, um, obviously you can tell I'm feeling a little better today. No more cold for this guy. That's called I built my immune system. Why don't you go build your immune system? Peace out.